I'm Lisa Donahue, and you would not know it by looking at me, but I was a battered child. Cake batter, cookie batter, brownie batter. Yeah, the more batter, the better. Yeah, I made that joke up when I was nine years old. <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah, I actually had a great life as a kid. An amazing mom, and um, I'm an only child, so there were no other kids to distract her, which was kind of nice. But um, yeah, only children. <sighs> but she's she's wonderful. She's here tonight. Susie's in the audience, and she is wonderfully caring and giving and generous, um, persuasively concerned. Also known as Nagy, right? <laughs> That's a nice way of saying that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, she she. She made cupcakes for the entire class, hence where the bathroom problems started. Um, drove me around and shot me around to singing lessons and tap classes, and was always there for me to, to heal me and love me and hug me. And she's always cheering me on. And I knew one day I wanted to be a mom just like her. So, now in my late 20s, though, I gotta tell you, having a baby was way off. I mean, I was carefree, I was having fun, I was traveling, I was building my career, right? It was all about me time, my Lisa D time, you know? <laughs> and in my 30s, yes, I, um, I grew up a bit. Yeah. I met the love of my life, Dexter. He's out there, too. Yes, he's wonderful. He's, uh, yeah. He likes cereal, but he's not a killer. I like to say that. <laughs> But he's wonderful. And you know, we enjoyed life in my mid 30s. I mean, we traveled spontaneous weekend trips. We went to swanky restaurants, ones that didn't have crayons if you didn't even want to, right? <laughs> yeah, and you know, expensive bottles of wine. And we, oh, we even bought really swanky furniture that had like sharp edges on it and, and you know, uh, mere tops and glass and not from Ikea, because we were adults, right? We were grown up. We had a great life. But then, in my late 30s, I, I felt like I was missing something, and it dawned on me, I think I forgot to have a baby. <laughs> I, you know, it, it just kind of slipped my mind with everything going on. I mean, I had friends who had babies. I was a great auntie, of course, you know. And I watched them embark on the most amazing and important journey in their lives to be a parent, right? I mean, with that responsibility kind of comes amazing commitment, right, for this little child the rest of your life. And then also a willingness and sacrifice to give up things like sleeping in and being over schedule the rest of your life. That's kind of crazy. Well, and of course, the most important one, which is immunity to really gross things like boogers, bark, and drool. Yeah, yeah. You see, I kind of struck a nerve there, right? Yeah, it's kind of gross. But, you know, being an auntie is a really cool thing because I get to give the kids back as opposed to keeping them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, forever. <laughs> Yikes. You know I love you. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, I heard you gotta feed them. Oh, oh, oh. And I, I heard they cry. So, oh, oh, oh. And you gotta potty train them. No, 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 no.